Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a custom taxonomy hierarchical filter. In order to follow this tutorial, you will need Elementor, JetSmart filters, and Jet Engine. So this is what we're going to be pulling off in this tutorial is I wanted to have it where you can have, you select your different countries and it will show you how many different posts there are. And then when you select that, if you watch what happens now, this comes up right here. So we have uh, four different cities right here. So I'm not going to be able to select any of these old ones right here. It's locking you in right here. And then I can choose, like, let's say Philadelphia, and it's going to show that post. And then in the end of the tutorial, I'll show you how you can do the remove filters. So again, if I choose something like Japan, I only have one right now for Tokyo. And when I select that, that's going to appear right here. So now I'm going to jump into the back end of the website and show you how I have everything set up. So the first thing you're going to want to do is we need to create the two taxonomies right here. So these two uh, options right here, these are two different taxonomies attached to this post type right here called locations. So if you have Jet Engine installed already, what you can do is go over here into taxonomies. And inside of here, I created two of them. The very first one is the country taxonomy and I just called one uh, city. So if I jump into here, this is what we're gonna call this one is the country taxonomy. So that's what this drop down is right here. And then I have it for the post type locations, which is where I have my custom post type. But if you have it just stuck to regular post, you would choose post right here. And then the only option you need to really enable is down here underneath advanced. You're going to want to make sure you have this enabled right here, higher article. So you want to make sure you have that enabled and then hit update taxonomy. And then you need to do the same thing right here for the city. So we need to declare a city taxonomy as well. So it's basically the same thing. I just called it city, tied it to locations underneath advanced. I made sure high article is selected and you hit update. So now that you have those two enabled, now what you need to do is make sure you go in there and start tagging your post. So as you can see right here, I have seven different posts under location. We have Dallas, Dublin, New York, Paris, Philadelphia, Tampa, and Tokyo. So what I did is if you click on a quick edit, you can actually just go in here and start to tag these things. So in this case, you're going to want to make sure uh, this is Dallas. So this is in the United States. You're going to want to make sure you choose United States. And then I'm choosing Dallas right here. So if you have any other posts in the future that are Dallas related, you could just do the same thing. So I'm just showing you how you can enable it on one of them. And then down here under Dublin, I made sure the country taxonomy is Ireland and then the city is Dublin. So you kind of get it. So what you need to make sure that this is all correct right here in order for this drop down menu to work right here. Okay, so the next step is to actually create the JetSmart filters. So what we need to do is jump over into JetSmart filters. You're going to go ahead and just click add new. I have this one right here already called country filter. And I'll just walk you through how I have everything enabled. So you're going to want to give that uh, filter name right here. And one thing to note is that this filter hierarchical system is only going to work for this one right here called select. And it only works with like taxonomies. So there's a few limitations right there. So you're going to want to go ahead and make sure you click this button right here is high article click that and then what we need to do is add the two different labels right down here and that is the country and then we need to add the city so all you need to do is just click add new and i just give it a label name country placeholder country and then the taxonomy is the one i created earlier so country taxonomy and you just click add new and then this one right here is just called city and you just find it inside the list so if you have multiple taxonomies called city, you may want to put in like uh, filter city, you know, make it a little more organized. But in this case, I just called it city. And then the way it works is the user has to select this first one and then this will become enabled. So if you swapped it and you had the city at the top, it would work the same way. But the user would have to then select, if I go into city, it would show all four of these up here and then they can choose the country. So this is kind of like the top layer is the most powerful one and then it just kind of works its way down from there and then that's it i just kept everything else by default and you just go ahead and hit update and now what we need, need to do is actually just add this jet smart filters onto a page like this and here we are on that page and the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have something like your listing grid or the element or loop template whatever it may be to be able to pull in the feed so in this case i just have the locations um, grid right here using the listing grid so once you have that, all you need to do is now go and type in the word select. And then you're going to see right here, we have the select filter. So you just click and drag that in right here. And then this one was called the country filter. So now we go ahead and this filter is for, you're going to make sure this one is for jet engine. 
And as you can see, I'm using, like I said, the Jet Engine listing grid right here. But if you're using something like the Elementor Pro loop grid, you would just choose that. And in this case, let's just do Ajax and it changes on value. So that means it's gonna change in real time. And then over here, you might wanna go ahead and start changing the width of these things. So you could do it by pixels or percentage. So something like 75% should be good. And then you could change the spacing like right here. You may wanna have a little more space like 20. Uh, sometimes you may need to render it out on the front end. It might look a little bit different on the back end. So start to play around with these and then test it on the front end and make sure everything works. But let's go ahead and actually publish this page and let's make sure everything is working first. So if I hit update, it, it will remove what I had before. So as you can see right here, we have the different countries. I can choose United States and let's just say I want New York City. Okay, so that's all working correctly. And if you remember in the beginning of the tutorial, I had these little numbers next to it. That's called the indexer. So inside of Jet Smart Filters, you can actually enable that. So I'll show you how to do that, and then I'll show you how to add that remove filter button. So in order to enable that indexer so it shows you how many posts are tied to that like taxonomy, what you need to do is go underneath your Jet Smart Filters and your settings. You gotta make sure that the indexer settings are enabled. So you can choose Use Index Filters, and then I like having this option on right here. It says use auto re-indexing. So after some short sort of time, the more posts you add to it, it automatically will update that. So you don't have to like go in and refresh it all the time. And then this right down here, I'm just choosing the locations. But as you can see, you could choose any post type you want right here. So now we can jump over into the indexer options and click this button where it says apply indexer. And then you're gonna wanna make sure you have show counter is on and then you can change out whatever character you want. So this is gonna be like a parentheses. Um, if item is empty, you can either show it, hide it, or disable it. Um, it's a personal preference, I kinda like disable. And then change counters always, never other filters change. So in this case, I'm just gonna keep it at always. And then hit publish. So on the back end, it might not show correctly, but if I go here and hit refresh, it should show the numbers. Now, if you don't have the numbers showing up, or they're incorrect, what you can do is underneath your Jet Smart filters, there's this button up here in the top right corner. Uh, it's called Apply Indexer. So what that's gonna do is apply the indexer to all of the different uh, filters you have on the website. So you can just go ahead and click that, and it should just literally take a second. So again, you wanna make sure that you have this enabled right here, or this isn't gonna show up on Jet Smart filters. So now if I go ahead and hit Refresh, it should populate automatically with all the numbers correctly. So if I choose something like France, Paris just has the one. And then this is why I like having that filter, that remove filter, because right here, the user's not gonna be able to select these. So it's really easy to add that remove filter button. Um, I personally think it's a better user experience. So all you need to do is just type in the word remove filters. There's a widget right here. And then it's really simple, you just choose Jet Engine. So in this case, I just have the one Jet Engine listing grid. And that's it. So once you do that and you hit update, you're going to go back to the page, hit refresh. And as soon as I choose one of these, so if I choose France again and Paris, you could see right here it adds that. And like I said, I can't click those, but the user is going to know I can click remove filters. And then it will kind of go back to the way it was. So if I go back into United States and Tampa, you could see right here I can't click this. The user can always go ahead and click country and kind of restart, but that's why I like having that button because it's kind of like a fallback. And that's it for how to create a custom taxonomy hierarchical filter on your website. Thank you for watching.